Hey guys, it's Fin17, we're back into the video, and today um, I've completed Journey Stage 4. It was such a grind, um, and I don't know if it was really worth it or not, uh, but I got through it, you know, I got my rewards, and I'm showing you guys, you know, what I got out of it, and, you know, how to kind of complete it. So before we do start, please make sure to leave a like on the video, follow me on Instagram, and join my Discord, link will be in the description. We're about 500 subscribers away from 10k, so if you guys could please subscribe, it'll really mean a ton. Let's try to get 150 likes on this video, that'd be awesome post notification shout out goes to this person on the screen right there thank you for having your post notifications on if you guys do want to post a notification shout out make sure to be subscribed with your notice on and comment something down below also the uh thank you guys for 9.5k obviously so the, the random subscriber shout out for 9.5k will go to this person on the screen right there um and let's you know just get straight into it so um i did complete stage four i'm gonna show you guys right here if you go to genesis um I completed it all the way through. I got this Dante Jackson. I still have got to complete these bonus objectives, but I tried, you know, completing, you know, as many of them as I could. Um, but I'll show you what you get out of these. So for this event right here, the Seattle event, it actually gave you a Tom Brady or a Patrick Mahomes. Uh, and for me, I took Mahomes because he's my quarterback and hopefully I can rank him up. So as you can see, I have one out of three of his shards. Um, but I did get a Patrick Mahomes there, uh, so we got one rare player. The rest were just literally just uncommons, as you can see. Like, I got an Isaiah Simmons, um, and then over here, uh, earlier on, I did get, I believe Ter I believe that's Terry McLaurin. Um, so, yeah, that is Terry McLaurin. So, that's cool, but the main prize, I guess, was a selection between Dante Jackson and Joe Schobert, uh, and I took Dante Jackson because I've wanted this card for a while. I mean, I've, I've you know, seen him in arena and everything, and he's really just absolutely destroyed my team uh so my offense especially so uh, i got this dante jackson and i replaced xavier Rhodes with him which is why i was kind of holding off on upgrading Rhodes. my defense is now 112 but the uh, the main thing is that you need 12 of the level 20 plus players so as you can see i have one two three four uh five six seven um let's see eight nine uh let's see ten and then uh, 11 here, and then I probably just missed one somewhere. But I do have 12 of the players. It might be on my bench too. Um, but I do have all 12 of the players, and it was such a grind because to rank it, to like level them up, you need uh, you know the AFC and NFC helmets, which are you know such a grind. So I had to spend a little bit of Madden cash that I got from the field pass. Uh, but it was worth it. It was definitely worth it. I bought the obviously the resource bundle along with some trophies and a lot of training points because training points are pretty uh you know pretty hard to get and i already had like seventy thousand coins so i just had to you know get a couple coins from the events and everything uh kind of refresh those as well and this is the final result on my team i do have some uncommons and i know you guys are probably going to be happy about this but i do have andrew van ginkle yes sir um uh, but yeah i do get the dante jackson i'm gonna show you what else it unlocks because it unlocks some other stuff as well if you go to the champion store now you have the patches stuff unlocked you can buy basically patches and they can upgrade your team like all the way to like level your uncommon is like to level 35 i believe uh, but that's what you need and then it also unlock this thing in training center uh as you can see these bottom two events that you can play and you can get like patches to you know keep upgrading your team uh, the last thing you really unlocked is trades and when you go to um the resources now you can get 600 afc slash nfc helmets for five players so that's pretty cool again something to take advantage of when you whenever you complete stage four and uh you know basically how i just i just showed you guys how i pretty much ranked up these players or leveled up these players it's really so it's gonna be a grind but the events as you complete them they do give a good amount of like training points rewards like trophies and stuff like that so as long as you keep playing these and maybe you know try to do the bonus you can claim some bonus rewards and that's pretty much what you get um so hopefully you guys enjoyed it it is pretty crazy uh but uh, you know stage five is gonna be such a grind to do you know i'm gonna try to get that hopefully done as soon as possible thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next one and peace out